Hey everybody, I have a soldering iron here and I thought it would be fun to take apart and see what it looks like on the inside. It's a two power soldering iron, it's got a little switch here, 15 watts like that, flip the switch down, 30 watts for different kinds of solder. So let's, uh, let's take it apart and see what it looks like on the inside. I've actually removed most of the screws already. And there you go. So what all is there? There's the cord that contains two wires. We've got a switch. The switch is a double pole, double throw switch. That is, it has three connections. And the two wires here then go up into this barrel. There's a metal slug, but around that is wrapped the heating element. It's a wire, an alloy of nickel and chrome called nichrome. And so what makes nichrome special is that it, has, it, it conducts. Uh, it's not an insulator. It does conduct, but it has a relatively high resistance nonetheless. And so when you put electricity through it, it, it heats up. And that's exactly what you want for a soldering iron or, or a toaster or an electric uh, oven or something like that. So that's called the heating element. Let's take a look at the circuit that's in here. So we have an AC source. In other words, 120 volt alternating current. And that goes to, is connected to a switch. And it's a single pole double throw switch. That is, this red line I just drew represents a flapper that can go from here to here and connect the pole here to either one of these two connections. So AC source, single pole double throw switch, and here's our generic symbol for a resistor. In this case, it's the heating element uh, that heats up the soldering iron. So the thing about AC is the polarity is changing. So at a given moment, this might be positive and this is negative, but then in the US, 120th of a second later, the polarity is reversed. This is negative, this is positive. So why is that relevant? How is that important uh, for here? When the switch is in the position that I have drawn it here, it actually does not matter. The current, whichever way it's flowing, at this current moment, it's going this way. And 120th of a second later, it's going the other way, but it's going both ways through the heating element. That's the setting for 30 watts. But if you flip the switch over to the other throw, single pole double throw. So we flip that over to the other throw. Now the current has to flow in order to get to the heating element or to flow through the heating element. The current has to flow through that diode. Diodes, remember, allow current to flow only in one direction. So at this particular moment, with this positive, this negative, current is trying to go this way the diode is forward biased. The triangle and the diode symbol means it's going forward. That's the direction of the forward flow. And current will flow through the heating element. But then, when the polarity switches, so this side is negative, this side is positive, now the current is trying to flow the other way. So it's trying to go this way. Ah, but the current can't go through here because it's, it's the wrong direction for the diode. So in fact, no current flows at all anywhere if, if, there's a, if there's a roadblock right here, that means no current flows anywhere. So this is the 15 watt setting. With the switch in this position, current is only flowing through the heating element half of the time. And that's why it's only using half of the power and the heat is going to be much less than when you have it on the 30-watt setting. So 
Let's take a closer look. And just so you can see it better up close, here's the plug, here's the long wire, which ends up here. Keep in mind that wire, that cord, is actually two separate copper wires. One here, this one, goes straight to the heating element. The other one comes to the switch, specifically the central connection of the switch. So that would be your single pole. And then that single pole, that center connection, is inside the switch either connected to here, as it is now, or if I flip it over, inside it's connected over to the left. So when it's connected over here, that middle, that middle wire inside is connected over to here, which is connected directly to the red wire, which goes to the heating element. If I flip over to the other side, now inside this central connection is connected on the left, and the only way for the current to get to the red wire that goes to the heating element is it has to go through this diode that comes over here. So because it's alternating current, uh, current is going to be flowing through that diode only half the time. When, in this case, this side is positive relative to the right-hand side. So you get 15 watts in this case, and flip it over here, you get 30 watts. And if we look at... If we look at the actual handle uh, with the reflections, it's hard to see, but you can see barely the 15 watt connection is when the switch was at the top, 30 watts when it was at the bottom. And so that is how our dual heat, two setting soldering iron works. And it's just a really neat example of a, a simple use for a diode.